In a world where the heavens tremble and secrets lie buried in the shadows, there lived a man named Enoch. He was no king, no mighty warrior, but a humble shepherd who walked with God. This connection not only set him apart, it thrust him into a struggle that would test his faith and resilience like never before. The Watchers, celestial beings who once served the Almighty, had forsaken their heavenly duties. Drawn by earthly desires, they descended to corrupt mankind, giving rise to the Nephilim, giant beings of immense power and wickedness. These fallen angels, now a blight upon the earth, spread chaos and darkness wherever they went. Enoch, though seemingly ordinary, was chosen to confront these formidable foes. Picture him, standing against the backdrop of a tumultuous sky, his heart heavy with the knowledge of the Watcher's betrayal. He wasn't just a man of faith, he was a guardian, a thinker, hope in an age of despair. Much like a king who must constantly prove his right to the throne, Enoch faced relentless challenges from the Nephilim and their sinister progenitors. Every encounter was a test of his strength and resolve. His mission was clear, to expose the truth about the Watchers and bring their reign of terror to an end. Imagine the world in which Enoch lived, a landscape scarred by the presence of the Nephilim, towering beings with a thirst for domination. The very ground trembled beneath their feet and humanity's survival hung by a thread. Enoch, with his unwavering faith and indomitable spirit, stood as the last line of defense against this overwhelming force. Join us as we look into the forgotten pages of the Book of Enoch, uncovering the secrets of the Watchers and the Nephilim. Through Enoch's eyes, we will explore a tale of divine conflict and human resilience. Prepare to be captivated by a story of courage, determination, and the relentless fight for justice. Enoch's journey will inspire and enthrall, reminding us all that even the humblest among us can stand against the darkest of evils, the celestial rebellion, introducing the Watchers. In the realm between heaven and earth, drama unfolds. Angels, beings of divine light and power, stand at the precipice of a world-changing decision. These are the Watchers, celestial guardians tasked with observing humanity from afar. But what happens when the observers become the observed? Imagine a time when angels walked among us, their ethereal forms cloaked in earthly flesh. These watchers, 200 strong, were sent by God with a sacred mission, to guide and protect his most precious creation. Yet as they gazed upon the daughters of men, a spark ignited in their hearts, a spark that would soon set the world ablaze. These divine beings, entrusted with humanity's welfare, succumbed to the very temptations they were meant to guard against. The consequences of their choices would forever alter the course of human history. Are you ready to uncover the truth about the Watchers and their fateful descent? Descent into Desire, the Fall of the Watchers. As we look back in time, we witness a moment that would change the fate of both heaven and earth. The Watchers, those divine guardians tasked with observing humanity, found themselves caught in a web of fascination. Their eyes, once fixed on the celestial realms, now lingered on the daughters of men. What could have sparked such intense curiosity in these heavenly beings? Perhaps it was the allure of the unknown, the mystery of mortal existence that drew them closer. Or maybe in the simple beauty of human life, they saw a reflection of the divine that stirred something deep within their angelic hearts. As their fascination grew, so did their desire. These watchers, 200 strong, stood at the edge of a decision that would ripple through eternity. They gathered on Mount Hermon, a place where heaven and earth seemed to touch. There, under the vast expanse of sky, they made a pact that would seal their fate. Can you picture it? These radiant beings, their forms shimmering with celestial light, huddled together on a mountaintop, whispering of earthly pleasures and mortal love. What words passed between them? What promises were made? The Book of Enoch tells us of this fateful gathering. It speaks of a leader named Semjaza, who voiced the desires that burned in all their hearts. I fear that you may not wish to do this deed, and I alone will pay for this great sin, he said. But his brothers in arms were resolute. They swore an oath, binding themselves to this course of action and to each other. With this pact, the Watchers chose to abandon their divine posts. They descended from the heavens, clothed themselves in flesh, and walked among humans. 
but at what cost? Their choice set in motion events that would bring both wonders and horrors to the world. The implications of their decision were far-reaching. These angels created to watch over humanity instead brought corruption and sin. They taught humans knowledge that was not meant for mortal minds. They took wives from among the daughters of men, and from these unions came the Nephilim, giants who roamed the earth. Does this tale sound familiar? It should. The Bible itself hints at these events. In Genesis 6-4 we read, The Nephilim were on the earth in those days, and also afterward, when the sons of God went to the daughters of humans and had children by them. These sons of God, many believe, were none other than the fallen watchers. But why? Why would beings of such power and glory choose to leave their heavenly home? What force could be strong enough to pull angels from the very presence of God? The answer, it seems, lies in the same temptation that has plagued humanity since the Garden of Eden, the desire for that which is forbidden. These watchers, in their fascination with human women, discovered a longing they had never known before. And in that longing, they found something both terrifying and exhilarating, the power to choose. Their choice would unleash forces beyond their control, setting the stage for a cosmic drama that would span millennia. The descendants of their unions with humans would become mighty and feared. The knowledge they imparted would lead to great advancements, but also to great evil. As we contemplate the fall of the Watchers, we are left with a chilling question. If beings of such power and wisdom could be tempted, what hope is there for mere mortals? The answer perhaps lies not in our strength, but in our humility, in recognizing our weaknesses and seeking a higher power to guide us. The story of the Watchers serves as a warning, echoing through the ages. It reminds us that even the mightiest can fall, and that the choices we make can have consequences far beyond our imagining. As we delve deeper into this ancient tale, we must ask ourselves, what lessons can we learn from the Watcher's descent into desire? Forbidden Union, the birth of the Nephilim. The Watcher's descent marked the beginning of an extraordinary chapter in human history. As these celestial beings walked among mortals, they found themselves drawn to the beauty of human women. What would happen when divine essence mingled with mortal flesh? The answer would shake the foundations of the world. Picture a time when giants roamed the earth, their footsteps echoing like thunder across ancient lands. These were no ordinary beings, but the offspring of angels and humans, the Nephilim. Born from a union that defied the natural order, these creatures possessed strength and knowledge beyond mortal comprehension. The book of Genesis offers a tantalizing glimpse into this forgotten era. It speaks of a time when the sons of God went to the daughters of humans and had children by them. They were the heroes of old, men of renown. But who were these heroes of old and what impact did they have on the world around them? Imagine a child born with the strength of 10 men growing to tower over their human counterparts. The Nephilim were not just physically imposing, they possessed minds sharp enough to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos. With their angelic heritage, they understood secrets of the universe that no human had ever grasped. But power, unchecked, often leads to corruption. As the Nephilim grew in number and strength, they began to exert their influence over human society. They taught humanity knowledge that had been forbidden, the crafting of weapons, the secrets of the stars, and even the dark arts of sorcery. The world trembled under the weight of this new knowledge. Civilizations rose and fell at the whims of these giant offspring. Their impact was so profound that tales of their existence echoed through the mythologies of cultures across the globe. Have you ever wondered about the origins of stories featuring demigods and giants? The Greek myths speak of the Titans, powerful beings born from the union of gods and mortals. Norse legends tell of the Jotnar, giants who challenge the gods themselves. Could these tales be distant memories of the Nephilim passed down through generations? As the influence of the Nephilim grew, so did the corruption they brought. Violence and sin spread across the earth like a plague. The divine plan for humanity seemed to unravel with each passing day. The world teetered on the brink of chaos, crying out for judgment. What force could stand against beings of such power and knowledge the answer would come in the form of divine wrath 
a cleansing flood that would reshape the face of the earth. But even this cataclysm would not be the end of the Nephilim's story. The Bible hints at their continued existence, stating they were on the earth in those days and also afterward. This tantalizing detail suggests that the legacy of the Watchers and their offspring extended far beyond the Great Flood, their influence echoing through the corridors of time. As we uncover the truth about the Nephilim, we must ask ourselves, if beings of such might could fall into corruption, what hope is there for humanity? The answer may lie not in our strength, but in our capacity for humility and our willingness to learn from the mistakes of the past. The price of knowledge, corruption and divine wrath. As the Watchers descended, they brought with them knowledge that would reshape the world. But at what cost? The secrets they shared were not meant for mortal minds, and their impact would ripple through time like stones cast into a still pond. Picture a world on the brink of transformation. The Watchers, once guardians of divine wisdom, now whispered forbidden truths into eager human ears. They taught the crafting of weapons unlocking the power to create and destroy. The mysteries of the stars were revealed, allowing mortals to glimpse the vastness of the cosmos. Even the dark arts of sorcery found their way into human hands, blurring the line between the natural and supernatural. With this newfound knowledge, human civilization advanced at a breathtaking pace. Cities rose from dust, empires spread across continents, and the secrets of nature bent to human will. But as power grew, so did corruption. The world that God had created with such care was changing, warping under the weight of unbridled ambition and unchecked desire. Can you imagine the pain in the heart of the Creator as he watched his beloved creation spiral into chaos? The Book of Enoch speaks of God's disappointment, his sorrow at seeing the world he had shaped with love now tainted by sin and corruption. The very earth cried out for justice and the heavens trembled with the coming judgment. In his infinite wisdom, God knew that action must be taken, but how would divine wrath manifest? The answer came in the form of the Great Flood, a cleansing deluge that would reshape the face of the earth. Yet even in judgment, mercy would play a role. Noah, one of the last pure-blooded humans, would be spared to carry the torch of humanity forward. But before the waters could rise, there was work to be done. The archangels, mighty beings of celestial light, were called upon to carry out divine justice. Though the research doesn't specify their exact roles, imagine these powerful entities descending from the heavens, their presence both awe-inspiring and terrifying. They moved among the Watchers and their offspring, binding and banishing, preparing the world for the cleansing to come. As the floodwaters rose, washing away the corruption that had taken root, a question lingered. Would this be the end of the Watcher's influence on the world? The answer, hidden in the pages of Genesis, might surprise you, for it speaks of the Nephilim existing in those days, and also afterward. This tantalizing detail suggests that the legacy of the Watchers and their offspring extended far beyond the Great Flood, their influence echoing through the corridors of time. What if the impact of the Watcher's forbidden knowledge continues to shape our world even today? As we uncover more about this ancient tale, we must ask ourselves, what price are we willing to pay for knowledge? And more importantly, how can we ensure that the power we wield is used for good, not for destruction? The story of the Watchers and the Great Flood serves as a stark reminder of the consequences of unchecked ambition and the corruption of divine gifts. It challenges us to consider our own choices and the impact they have on the world around us. For in the end, we too must answer for the knowledge we possess and how we choose to use it. Enoch's Testament, a warning for the ages. As the world reeled from the consequences of the Watcher's actions, a single voice rose above the chaos. Enoch, a man of unwavering faith, found himself thrust into a role he never imagined, a messenger between God and the fallen angels. What secrets would this unlikely prophet uncover? Imagine standing at the crossroads of heaven and earth, carrying words that could shape the fate of both realms. Enoch's journey took him beyond the veil of mortal understanding, where he witnessed visions of judgment and hope. His warnings echoed through time, speaking of a day when the corrupt would face divine wrath. But why isn't Enoch's testament found in the pages of the Bible we know today? 
The answer lies in the complex tapestry of religious history, where some truths are embraced while others are set aside. Yet, the wisdom of Enoch's words continues to resonate, challenging us to question our place in the cosmic order.